Mom, can we buy WarioWare? No, dear, we have WarioWare at home. WarioWare at home. Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Lizzie McGuire games for the GBA. Lizzie McGuire is okay, except for one single flaw that will make you throw the game into the garbage. If you fail the level, you start the game all over. Not the level all over, you start the game all over. In rest, the game is a timed level where you have to collect stuff broken up by minigames. The timed levels are repetitive and boring. They are tense only because you know that if you fail you have to restart the game from the very start. And the worst part is that if you want to unlock content in the game, so if you want to unlock the minigames, you have to progress in the timed levels, which are a pain. The minigames are boring and some are lazy. I mean, they aren't broken, but it's frustrating that the first minigame is a bunch of trivia questions about the show. So beware. Play this game only if you're a fan. Overall, the game could have been okay with a few tweaks, but instead it has some annoying quirks that makes it hard to recommend to anyone who isn't a fan or a hardcore fan of the show. Also the target audience are the kids. Why make such a tough game for little girls? Lizzie McGuire 2, Lizzie Diaries, is horrible, again. The game has a similar game formula, but this time the developers put more effort into the game. The main dish are the collecting levels. You have to go left to right and collect diaries. The controls aren't the best, the level designs are awful, and obstacles are more annoying than challenging or fun. And in between the diary collecting levels are minigames. And they are pretty boring. I don't think I have to explain them to you, just look at the video. If you're watching the channel or played other bad GBA games, you can tell just by looking. The only good part is that compared to the first game, this one is much better. The minigames are better, you don't start the game from the start, like in the first one, if you fail, but instead have a checkpoint system, and the visuals are nicer. Still, the game has a lot to improve to be okay. It still remains rather mediocre, even if it's much better than the first game. Mom, can we buy WarioWare? <laughs> no, dear, we have WarioWare at home. Wario we're at home. And Lizzie McGuire 3 is like WarioWare, but the sad version. It's a bunch of very short minigames, and all of them are pretty dull. At least in my opinion, but don't take my word for it because most reviewers gave it good scores. So for kids I guess it works out, even for some adults. I found the game dull, sometimes confusing on first try. Also, I haven't counted the minigames, but one reviewer says that there are a hundred minigames in the game. But if so, take into consideration that most of them have the same mechanic, and just have a different art style. Still, as I said, I found the game boring. But it seems that others didn't. It's up to you. 